Um, so again, if we're just looking at a table, though, and we're trying to find the derivative of the composition of functions, here we have f of g of x, which again is the same thing as f of g of 5. But the main important thing we want to do is apply the chain rule. So we're, therefore, we're going to do f prime of g of 5 times g prime of 5. Extra pencil. So in this case, we find what g of 5 is. Ooh, uh, g of 5 is negative 2. So really what that is is f prime of negative 2 times g prime of 5. Do you guys see the one thing I did? I just evaluated for g of 5. Now, f prime of negative 2 is going to be negative 1. And then g prime of 5, which is negative 5. So therefore, that answer equals a positive 5. All right, so that was your quick review on that.